Hello, so today I wanted to make a video about how you can control hair dynamics in Blender. Many people have a question when it comes to animating hair. Is it possible to animate hair in Blender while uh, the hair is maintaining a specific shape that you want it to? The answer is yes. And in this short video, I'm just uh, wanna show you how you can go about accomplishing such a task in Blender. So let's get into it. So the, the way that you tell Blender that you want the hair dynamics to maintain a specific shape is with this little tab right here which is called pingol strength what this does is it allows you to tell blender where you want more stiffness in your hair using weight painting to give you a little bit of a demonstration, I am going to paint this part of the hair all red. And I'm gonna simply bake the animation. So if I play it, you can see what it's doing. I am essentially using the weight painting to tell Blender where I want my hair to be stiff and where I want it to be flexible. So it's important for you to paint it in a way that resembles a real hair. So obviously the, big, the biggest amount of stiffness that any hair experiences is near the skull. And just to give you another demonstration really quickly, I'll, I'll set this stiffness down to zero and I'll, bake, and I'll bake the animation again. And if I play the animation, this, this is typically what you would get with, uh, without the stiffness, without the bingo strength. And if I were to delete the bake again, and I'll just uh, increase it to about four, and I'll bake again. And if I play the animation, you can see how, that the stiffness has increased by a lot. It's the hair, the hair is a lot more stiff in the places where I painted red. So essentially it's just up to you to play around with the weight and to determine what works for you. So that is it guys. Thank you for watching. I really hope this helps anyone who is struggling with hair dynamics. If you have any questions, please do comment down below. Please consider giving this video a like because that helps my channel. Also consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.